represents the young children you work with. Your anxieties are more about getting it right for them. So it's nice to be steered in the right direction so you know you're answering and representing the young children to your best possible abilities. So it's quite nice to share information with your, your colleagues and see how everybody else is approaching the, the subject too. Yeah, I felt, that, I felt it went really well in practice. Um, I learned a lot more about what has happened with the particular student at home and what sort of things he could bring to school, problems that perhaps he could bring into school that we perhaps were unaware of um, without doing the home visits and getting to know that particular student a lot better than I pre previously had. Mm. And sometimes you can make judgments just on a school basis and don't take into consideration what sort of background or home life that, that they're coming, coming from or coming mm. into school with. Um, obviously you phone home and you, you talk to parents etc and get that as much information as you can but seeing what they do at home and how they behave and how they interact is a real big eye because it can be completely different to what you see at school. I was quite lucky because I worked with a, was looking at a student that I know quite well anyway, so quite confident with, um, with what I know about him anyways and what his viewpoints are, but then it was still really interesting when he dug a bit deeper um, about looking at it from a home perspective as well and really looking at every angle of the child's life because sometimes it's really easy to, to forget that when you're working with a child in your environment that they've got many different environments to cope with and have emotions about too which a lot of our children kind of de, you know decompartmentalize everything and everything's normally got a box and that's how they react and act in one place and it changes to the other so it's quite interesting to see how all that comes together and makes a whole child. I think when the um, parents were told and informed that we're going to be doing this box and we were going to have to go out and do a home visit, I think that was what was going to be the most nervous, going out to the house and visiting the parent and talking to the parent and seeing the child in a different setting to what I'm used to in the residence. I think the thing I was most anxious about was finding the time to do the observations given all the pressures of the work at the moment. We're quite a new school, we're starting off, uh, we're getting new students coming in all the time and even though I, I'd said to staff I need certain days to go into school, I was being pulled away from it quite quickly. So to sort of sit and watch the young person in the classroom behaving how I would normally behave and me being just in the background observing, that was difficult. I was being pulled in to do duties in the classroom while I was there and sort of behaving like a member of staff rather than someone doing the Vox training and doing the observations. So that was difficult. Yeah, the really. education staff were really helpful. Once they'd got on board and sort of understood what we was doing, yeah. that made it a lot easier. Um, also, I was able to take the particular students to a neutral venue to play golf as well. So I had that sort of relaxed environment so I could actually play something he liked to do and I liked to do. Yeah. Very, very less formal in terms of teacher-student relationship. Went to like a, a neutral venue and then therefore found that that particular student opened up a lot more. Awesome. Yeah. And it went really well. I've had phone calls with the parents and went out and the student that I'm actually doing, uh, focusing on, he's having a bit of a difficult time at home anyway, so it was nice to see that as well as her explaining it and me to actually go there and see it. I was able to see him, I've seen him in his home environment, school environment and in the residential environment as well. So three different environments all together. It was good, I enjoyed it. First. The first visit, the young person didn't quite understand what I was there for. I'd gone and sort of had a little chat, maybe five or ten minutes, and tried to explain what we was trying to achieve. And it was sort of, I didn't quite think that he understood what we was doing. So the first visit, first half an hour, 45 minutes, he was sort of showing off and it was all a bit... But once he'd settled into it, maybe the third or fourth visit, we was really, he was getting some positive things. I think... It's opened my mind a lot, this experience, um, as to not just focus on what, what, the, what the particular student does at school or students do at school. You've got to you really build up a bigger picture. Mm. Um, and also just to be aware that if, if their home life is difficult, what actual emotional support they need as well through school. And I've found that this particular student, a real safe haven is school. Um, and if sometimes you haven't got that information or you sort of prejudge what's happened at school when you think it's okay. Um, sometimes you can sort of neglect perhaps their emotional needs. Um, and I think that's really opened my eyes to that. And I think that's been really, really beneficial. Working with young children anyway, I think we all need to have a lot of empathy. But to take away something I'd say to um, other people is, other professionals, is that when you do look at a child in all those different three environments, 
it's there shouldn't be a stop and a start point to each environment. What happens at home affects school. What happens at school affects residents. So it's really, I think a valuable point is, is that you can't just treat that child as this is your school time, this is your home time. Everything, what happens at school even affects home. So it's really important to look at a 24 hours a day in a child's life because nothing starts and stops in one environment. It really does all run on from one to another. Just seeing from their point of view, being in a residential home, being away from home, yeah. uh, just going at home at weekends, mixing with friends. Really positive things that the school are doing. Um, even just simple things like calming strategies in the classroom and the fact that the young people are really listening to the majority of the time. It's really good, it's really nice to see. And stand back and sort of praise the good things that we're doing and look at the achievements that we've made in a really short time. It's good. Mm -hmm.